morning, friends. It's been a while. It's Parshas Tazria. Let me ask you a question. How often do Jewish communities, Jewish schools, cliques of people excommunicate someone or bully someone out of the community, making them uncomfortable in the environment? This week's Parsha talks about Saras. It's the only form of impurity that needs to be declared by a Koyan. Every other impurity, if you have the impurity, if you come in contact with a dead body, with a carcass, if you come in contact with a creepy crawly insect, you become impure. And the impurity itself makes you impure. Only when it comes to this spiritually inflicted form of leprosy blotches that is spiritual in nature, called Saras, V'huva la Koyan. You need to have a Koyan that will declare the impurity. It's not enough to have the ailment a Koyan needs to make the declaration. And even if a Talmud Chacham, a great Torah scholar, is the one to determine that it's a Tsaras, the actual declaration, the pronouncement that makes you impure is a Koyan. Says the Rebbe something very incredible. When it comes to Tsaras, it's the only form of impurity that you're excommunicated. You literally have to go, Bodod Yeshev Mechutz Lamachana, you're excommunicated from all the three encampments of the Jewish people. You're alone in quarantine without any community. That's a big thing. The isolation of Tsaras is real and it's deep and it's scary and it's not fun. So before we take a Jew and make him feel unwanted, make him go through that experience, you have to have a Koyan. A koyin is a isha chesed, tumecha vu'urecha le'ish chasidecha. They are people that are inherently kind. They're empathetic. They're full of mercy. They are the ones that need to declare that. When a koyin gives a bracha to Klai Yisrael by Birkas Koyin, they say, Levarech is Amma Yisrael b'Yahava, who blesses the Jewish people with love. They have to be embedded with love because before they can declare someone to be excommunicated, they need to search in their heart in the depth of their heart, to ask themselves, is this a hundred percent? Before I excommunicate this person, am I a thousand percent sure that it's the right thing to do halachically? And they need to check the recesses of their heart to ensure that their love is real, that they're recognizing that this is a person, a beautiful Jew who needs love, maybe more love than regular people. And only then can they declare this person impure. Imagine if our yeshivas, imagine if our communities, imagine if our cliques of people, imagine if our shuls treated every yid that way, ensuring that no one feel isolated, ensuring that no one feel excommunicated, ensuring that no Jew should ever feel like they're in quarantine by their own community. Because we check the essence of our heart to make sure that any decision we make, any one-liner we give, Any tweet we tweet is coming from a place of love, not of judgmentalism and not of um, growing our own agenda. Imagine what our world would look like. Let's make it look that way. Have a wonderful day.